Now, We 31 Sports with Max Cohen. For the 14th time in program history, the Alabama Crimson Tide will be playing in the Women's College World Series after defeating Northwestern 3-2 in the third and final game of the Tuscaloosa Super Regional. Needing a win to keep their season alive at a jam-packed road stadium, Jayla Torrance was back in the circle for the Tide in the pivotal third game. And with the crowd at her back, she brought the energy, getting a big punch out to end the early threat. She also got some help from the girls behind her. Callie Hevlin gets dirty and scoops it to Emma Broadfit for another big out, helping to keep this game scoreless in the third. But then all of a sudden, a lightning delay, pushing the players off the field for about an hour. But when they came back, Allie Shipman provided the thunder. Bases loaded and she'll bring two home with a huge double, two zip tied. But Torrance would run into trouble in the top of the fourth and Montana Fouts would enter with two on and only one out. The Wildcats would find a way to scratch across a run on a flare up the middle, but the damage was limited to just that one run. Then in the fifth, Jenna Johnson takes aim at the foul pole, and the pole says yes, 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 no, but this time it's all yes as it clanks off the white for a solo shot to put the tide back up two. I honestly saw it curving towards the foul line, and I was like, please, Jesus, let this ball stay fair. And I've seen that ball go foul so many times, and I'm so thankful that it stayed fair today and got to hit off that pole, so that was a cool feeling. But the Wildcats were not done yet. Down to their final two outs, Maeve Nelson tees off on Fouts offering, knocking the ball off the light tower as Northwestern makes it a one-run game. But Montana Fouts was not going to let someone else write the final chapter of her collegiate career, sending Hannah Caddy down swinging to send the tie to Oklahoma City as she picked up her 100th career win in style. I'm beyond words, to be honest with you. I, like Jenna said, we, we could have lost today, and I've already won. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Just, I mean, if you would have told me that this year in August or January when we came back, everything that would have happened, I would have said that you were lying. But I would do it 14 times over again. Everything. Every single thing that's happened, the injury, the conversations, the losses, because everything has brought us to this moment. And I think that all of those things is why we're going. This is a great team, uh, great senior leadership. They all bought in. You have a storybook. Somebody needs to write the story. One of you need to write the story of this year. And her and Jayla and everything that we went through. And uh, I just, it's just, it's still an unreal feeling to sit here knowing we're going to Oklahoma City for the 14th time in our um, time here at Alabama. Now they'll meet their conference foes from Tennessee in the first round of the Women's College World Series in Oklahoma City on Thursday morning. And sticking with the SEC, both the Tide and Tigers will be hosting baseball regionals. Alabama for the first time since 2006 and Auburn hosting in back-to-back -back years for the first time ever. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.